All right, so this is David. Good body position. Um, maybe a little bit of uh, inflexibility in the upper body. So you're getting a getting a pretty good extension. I think with uh, continued stretching, flexibility. If you can increase your range of motion with your lats, that's going to be helpful. But a pretty good extension forward. Might be turning your head a little more than you need to to breathe. It's not a big deal, but it uh, just a little bit of extra motion. So you can notice when you're extended forward there's still some room in between your shoulder and your your cheek or your your head you want to be able to close that so if you when you extend forward if your shoulder actually brushes your your chin that's a good thing that means you're really extending as well as possible your hips and legs are in a pretty decent position uh, looks like the kick is supporting the stroke. And you have a full pull through. You're not coming out early in the water. And your timing is good for your body type. So here you get an idea of how well you rotate. So when you turn to breathe in on the left, your right arm and the shoulder extend forward well. Notice how when you come back on the right side when your right hand finishes that your right shoulder doesn't really extend above your body. It doesn't uh, you know, rotate down the middle line, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Not the biggest deal, but again, rotation. the idea behind rotation is to improve your streamline so that at the apex or the pinnacle of the stroke, you're as streamlined as possible for a brief moment. All right, so underwater. You get to see the extension and the sort of catch motion that you're doing. So that's what I refer to as a straight arm pull, meaning that when you extend forward, there's no, uh, no real flexion or bend in the at the elbow so that the hand and forearm would pivot downward or go vertical relative to the bottom of the pool what you're doing is extending pulling essentially straight down and straight back there might be some internal bend on the elbow in that your hand and forearm come under your body slightly but we're looking for it to be um a break at the elbow and then the hand and forearm angled down towards the bottom of the pool as early as possible. That's called the early vertical forearm. This is doggy paddle drill. This is a good one for you to do because it really forces you to work on that initial third of the stroke, the initial front part of the catch. Excuse me, the catch being the front part of the stroke. It's tough to do as we discussed. This is fist drill, so the idea with fist drill is you really work on the feel for the water or the grab for the water, the catch of the water with your, your forearm. Your hand is you know, your main paddle, but your forearm can grab a lot of water as well. And then you open up your hands and swim a lap. So I think here I was, we were working on just extending more. So you're you're doing your best to extend as far as possible, and that looks that looks a little better if you watch the beginning of the, the video again.
Yeah, that looks uh, Im an improved extension. And then this, we were trying to do the, the catch again. That's a little better. It's um, it's difficult to tell the difference. I can see, you know, a slight improvement there. That you're you're really working on trying to get the the hand and forearm angle down more earlier. But if you if you go back and watch the first underwater portion, then watch this, you can see a slight difference. So it's going to feel extremely exaggerated when you try to do it. And then you just have to keep reinforcing that over time. This is catch up. Catch up drill. Catch up is good for working on extension as well as that, that catch phase of the stroke. One-arm drill is a great strength-building drill as well as a form drill. Make sure that you're trying to get that high elbow catch right from the beginning. Make sure you fully extend forward, reach forward so that your body rolls over, so that you're facing forward, and then finish the stroke. Now you're doing pretty good here. You can use fins on catch-up drill and, and one-arm drill. You could use a pull buoy for either of them. And then I'm going to make some uh, still frames for the last part of the video. So this side is from that first pass before you were really trying to do the, the catch. So you know, nice extension, good body rotation. A little bit of a catch angle with the hand, but the hand and forearm really pulling down and back as one unit. All right, and the next one is from the, the second pass. So good extension. Start to initiate the pull and the catch, and then here you could see a bit of a bend in your elbow, so that's a better catch position. And you could see it amplified there as well. So keep working on it, looks good.